The latest leak about the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra's battery capacity is likely to disappoint those who are hoping for an upgrade over the S24 Ultra. According to Samsung leaker Ice Universe, the S25 Ultra will feature the same 5,000 mAh battery as its predecessor, along with an unchanged maximum charging capacity of 45 watt. There are rumors that upcoming devices expected to be released later this year and early next year could boast batteries as large as 6,000 mAh. In this context, the S25 Ultra's 5,000 mAh battery might seem underwhelming when it launches in January. The batteries intended for the Galaxy S25 Ultra have received certification from India's Bureau of Indian Standards, BIS. This follows recent news that Samsung does not plan to increase the battery capacity for the standard Galaxy S25 model. The BIS certificate reveals that the Galaxy S25 Ultra batteries bear model numbers EBBS, 938ABE and EBBS938ABI. However, typical of such certifications, specific capacity details are not disclosed. It's likely that Samsung will maintain a 5000 mAh battery capacity for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. This capacity should comfortably support the extensive capabilities of these Ultra handsets, especially considering the efficiency of modern smartphone chips. Despite some speculative rumors suggesting Samsung might use three different chips for the Galaxy S25 lineup, it's more probable that the Ultra model will continue to exclusively feature a Snapdragon chip across all markets, following the approach seen with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Rumors about the Galaxy S25 are circulating widely. In addition to a completely new design, Samsung's high-end phones for 2024 are anticipated to feature more powerful chips. While some speculate that the South Korean company might abandon its in-house chips, Others suggest that Samsung could even incorporate a MediaTek chip for the first time in its history. A new report indicates that at least some devices in the Galaxy S25 series, powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, could be gaming powerhouses. According to a new claim from Chinese tipster digital chat station via Notebook Check, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 features artificial intelligence-powered frame generation technology. This technology is similar to AMD's FSR and NVIDIA's DLSS, with this frame generation capability, the chip can run Genshin Impact at a 1080 resolution and a 120 FPS frame rate. In comparison, flagship phones equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip can run Genshin Impact at 60 FPS with all graphics settings maxed out. Artificial intelligence-powered frame generation enhances game smoothness but can also introduce higher input lag and graphics artifacts. It remains to be seen how Qualcomm will address these issues in its upcoming flagship chip set to be unveiled in October 2024. Additionally, this technology likely won't be compatible with all games and will require developer integration. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 features Qualcomm's custom Orion CPU cores and the Adreno 830 GPU. The chip is reportedly fabricated using TSMC's 3 in process node and is rumored to be more expensive than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. It remains uncertain whether Samsung will use the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 exclusively for the Galaxy S25 Ultra or also include it in the vanilla and plus variants of the Galaxy S25. If the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is as powerful as the rumors suggest, it could pave the way for AAA gaming titles like Assassin's Creed, Mirage, and Resident Evil Village on Android phones, similar to how the S17 Pro enabled these games on the iPhone 15 Pro series. Samsung is set to introduce a groundbreaking design change with its next flagship phone, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, expected in 2025. Since the Galaxy S22 Ultra, Samsung has been striving for a super square, slim design for their flagship models. They achieved this with the S24 Ultra, which while aesthetically pleasing is not the most comfortable Ultra flagship phone on the market. According to the renowned Samsung leakster, Ice Universe, it is confirmed that the S25 Ultra will feature a much more rounded design, similar to the Galaxy Note 7. Despite the Note 7's infamous battery issues, its comfortable and well-designed form factor was highly praised. The S25 Ultra will bring back this spirit with its rounded design, making it more user-friendly while maintaining the design language of the S24 Ultra. What's truly record-breaking about this design is its thickness. Ice Universe reports that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will have a body thickness of just 8.4 mm, the thinnest for any Samsung S Ultra model. For comparison, the S24 Ultra is 8.6 mm thick. Impressively, the S25 Ultra will still include a built-in S Pen despite this thin design. In addition to design changes, there's another major rumor regarding the S25 series. 
Instead of using Qualcomm or Exynos chips, Samsung might implement MediaTek chips for the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus. This move is due to the anticipated price hike for Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chip. Samsung is considering MediaTek chips as a backup if there are production issues with their Exynos 2500 chips. MediaTek's flagship chips are competitive with Qualcomm's and outperform Samsung's Exynos chips. However, the S25 Ultra will exclusively feature the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. Furthermore, the S25 Ultra will see two major camera upgrades, a new 3x 50-megapixel telephoto lens and a much-anticipated ultra-wide-angle lens with a 50-megapixel resolution. This exciting news sets at high expectations for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. What are your thoughts on these changes? Let me know in the comments below. Peace out.